Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi controlled mini soccer bot using the ESP32 microcontroller. The ESP32 is a great choice for this project because it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities, so we don't need any extra modules for wireless communication. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. In one of my previous tutorials, I built a similar mini soccer bot that was controlled using an NRF24L01 module-based RC transmitter. If you haven't seen that video yet, I've added the link in the description. Make sure to check it out. This is the 3D model of the bot, and I've created two different types of brackets for mounting the component. If you're interested in printing the model and want to purchase the STL files, feel free to contact me. For this mobile-controlled version of the bot, I'm removing the previous Arduino and NRF circuit, and replacing it with an ESP32 module. Since we need both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for this project, the ESP32 is an ideal replacement. Before connecting the ESP32, make sure the output voltage of your buck converter is properly set to 5 volts to safely power the board. Next, I connected the motor driver signal pins to the ESP32. You can find the pin mapping table shown on the screen or in the project resources. After wiring everything up, I secured the components with tape to keep things neat and tidy. For the power supply, I'm using three 3.7-volt lithium-ion batteries connected in series to provide a total of around 12 volt. Once everything is set up, I attach the wheels to the motors, and now it's time to move on to the control system. Let's start with Bluetooth control. First, install the Bluetooth RC controller app from the Play Store. I've already installed it, so I'll now show you the Arduino code that receives commands from the app and sends the appropriate signals to the motors. I'm going to upload the code to test the incoming commands from the app. This code will read and print the incoming signal in the serial monitor. Once the code is uploaded, pair your phone with the ESP32's Bluetooth signal. Next, open the app and launch the serial monitor. I'll now send commands from the app. When Bluetooth I press the connected. forward button, it sends the character F. The app also displays the real-time commands it's generating. Next, I press the backward button and the incoming signal is B. Similarly, R stands for right, and L for left. Now let's test the speed, speed control commands. Medium speed. Low speed. The app sends values from 0 to 9 using the speed scroll bar, where 0 is the minimum and 9 is the maximum speed. First, keep these links in the preference from file option. Then install the ESP32 board from the board manager. At the top of the code, we include two important libraries. First, we include the Bluetooth serial library, which allows our ESP32 to communicate with a smartphone over Bluetooth. Then we include the Arduino core library which provides the basic functions needed to run the program. Next, we create a Bluetooth serial object named Serial BT. This will handle all the Bluetooth communication. We also declare a variable incoming signal to store the characters we receive from the phone and a variable speed, which controls how fast the motors spin. The default speed is set to 100. Now let's define the motor control pins. We use two PWM pins for speed control pin 14 for the right motor and pin 32 for the left motor. We also define four more pins for controlling motor direction. Pins 27 and 26 control the right motor's forward and backward motion, while pins 25 and 33 do the same for the left motor. Moving on to the setup function. Here, we start the serial monitor for debugging and initialize Bluetooth with the name, 
which will show up on your phone when pairing. We then set all the motor-related pins as outputs because we're going to send signals to them. After that, we set all motor control pins to low to make sure the motors are stopped initially. In the loop function, we constantly check if any data has been received via Bluetooth. If a command is received, we store it in the incoming signal variable and print it on the serial monitor for debugging. Now, based on the value of this signal, we perform different actions. If we receive a number between 0 and 9 or the letter Q, we change the motor speed. For example, 0 sets the speed to 100, while Q sets it to the maximum value of 255. After handling the speed commands, we have a series of movement commands. If we receive F, the robot moves forward, B makes it go backward, L turns the robot left, and R turns it right, S stops the motors. Then we have four diagonal movements, I4 forward right, G4 forward left, J4 backward right, and H4 backward left. Each of these commands calls a corresponding function, which we've defined after the loop. Let's go through them quickly. The forward function sets both motors to spin forward at the current speed. Backward does the same but in reverse. Left spins the right motor forward and the left motor backward, causing the robot to turn left. Right does the opposite. The stop function sets the motor speed to zero and turns off all direction control pins, which brings the robot to a stop. Then we have four more functions for diagonal movement. Forward right stop the right motor to create a slight turn while moving forward. Forward left does the same for the left side. Similarly, backward right and backward left stop one motor while moving backward to create a smooth curved motion. And that's how the entire system works. Now select the board ESP32 dev module, port then upload the code. After uploading the Bluetooth code, let's take a look at the bot in action using the controller app. Now, moving on to Wi-Fi control. I'm using the ESP32 in access point, AP mode, which means the ESP32 creates its own Wi-Fi network. Your phone connects directly to the ESP32 without the need for a router. For this project, make sure you're using the ESP32 board version 2.0.11. That's important because we're using the LEDC write function in our code, and this function isn't fully supported in the newer versions of the ESP32 board package. So, to avoid compatibility issues, stick with version 2.0.11. After that, ensure you have the required libraries installed in your Arduino IDE. I've included the download links for the two main libraries in the description, but you can also install them directly from the Arduino Library Manager. Once the libraries are set, assign the motor driver pins properly in the code. Then, set up your Wi-Fi name and password in the defined section. After that, you can upload the code directly without changing anything. Just select the correct board ESP32 dev module, choose the appropriate port, and hit upload. And now, let's see the final test run using Wi-Fi. When you power up the bot, you will see a Wi-Fi network on your phone. Connect to it using the passport that was set up in the code. Once connected, 
Just open a web browser and go to the IP address 192.168.4.1. You'll see a simple web interface with four directional buttons and a speed control slider. From here, you can control the bot's movement and speed in real time. All the source code, schematics used in this project are available in the video description below. If you run into any issues while building your own soccer bot, feel free to reach out, I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching the full video.